let's uh, look at this uh, method of movements as well as method of percentiles approach to find out uh, to estimate the parameters of a log normal distribution right okay the following claim amounts are believed to come from log normal distribution with unknown parameters mu and sigma squared so these are the particular data all right let me enter them so the data elements are 50 87 103 105 and 126 then we have uh, 154 186 and 203 let's say these are the different claim amounts that are coming from a log normal distribution with mu and sigma squared now i want to find out the mu and sigma squared for that log normal distribution fair enough now at least for this if i want to find out the mean when i am going with the method of moments i will find out the mean of the data okay the mean of the data is nothing but a simple average which is 128.125 and uh, the variance of the data is nothing but the variance of the data is nothing but this much which is 2000 uh, Yeah, two thousand two hundred and twenty-five point one zero. This is the mean. This is the variance. Now I know for a log-normal distribution, mean is e to the power of mu plus half sigma squared. So this should be equal to one twenty-eight point one two five. So from here I would be knowing mu plus half sigma squared is equal to logarithm of 128.125. So I'll find out the logarithm of this number, which will help me later. The logarithm of mean plus half sigma squared, logarithm of 128.125. So mean plus half sigma squared should be equal and to that much. Fair enough. Now similarly, what is the variance of uh, log normal distribution? E to the power of two mu plus sigma squared times e e to the power of sigma squared minus one, which is nothing but if you look at this. This is this is nothing but mu squared, whatever is the mean. Mean squared into e to the power of sigma squared minus one is the variance. So from here I can get e to the power of sigma squared minus one as nothing but uh, whatever was the variance divided by the mean squared. So e to the power of Sigma squared minus one. If I really want that, it is nothing but whatever was the variance divided by mu squared. This is the mu mu squared. So this is e to the power of sigma squared minus one. So e to the power of sigma squared, if I require, it is e to the power of sigma squared will become one plus this number. So from here, sigma squared will become logarithm of this number. This is sigma squared, and sigma will become the standard deviation. Ah, uh, the standard deviation is becoming. square root of the variance so variance is our sigma as a parameter is 0.35 sigma squared is 0.35 
0.1271 right so of the log normal distribution now i have got the parameters both mu as well as sigma square no mu i did not uh, get still sigma squared is 0.127 all right now i have using the method of moments i have got sigma squared is 0.127 but in other way, mu plus half sigma squared, we know that it is 4.853. So that is uh, sufficient for us. Mu is nothing but 4.853 minus half sigma squared. So mu, mu comes out as 4.853 minus half sigma squared which is this number so mu comes out as 4.78 through the method of moments the parameter mu comes out as 4.78 whereas the parameter uh, sigma squared comes out as 0.127 right sigma squared come out to 0.127 this is using the method of moments now the same way i have to go with the method of percentiles to find out the same parameters i have to uh, use the method of percentiles also now for that okay what is it uh, using the upper and the lower quantiles so i have to really uh, find out the lower quantile so the first quantile for me is the n plus 1 by fourth element so 8 plus 1 so 8 plus 1 by 4 Or we can uh, even uh, take it as n plus 2th by 4th element also. So 2.5th element if I have to take. The second element is this. The third element is this. So 2.5th element is just the average between these two. So I will take it as 95. Similarly, I could very well uh, go with the 75th quantile also. 3n plus 2 by 4th element. 3n is uh, 24 plus 2, 26 by 4, 6.5th element. So again an average between these two will do the job for me. So 154 plus 183 by 2, the middle between these two, where the difference between these two is some 29. So 14 and a half, 168.5 becomes the third quarter so q1 for me comes out to 95 q3 comes out to 168.5 now the same how do i uh, take it uh, 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 how do i uh, take this uh, into an expression i need it as the 25th quartile right so from the excel look at the 25th quartile for a normal distribution because the log normal is nothing but uh, e to the power of whatever we are uh, getting through the normal so i will take the standard normal distributions uh, inverse for 25 percentile which gives me minus 0.67 means it's as good as mean minus 0.67449 sigma if it is a normal if it is a log normal then i will take it as e to the power of this much similarly for uh, 75th quartile of course because of symmetry i should get the positive of the same but yes let's uh, let's try to uh, look at that 75th percentile yes plus 0.67449 so for so the 25th quartile is this i mean 25th percentile or the first quartile is that number 
and the third quartile is the positive of that number. So I can very well equate these two. E power mu minus uh, 0.67449 sigma is 95. So probably uh, if I take the logarithm of both of them, I can remove the mu uh, e to the power. So I'll take the logarithm of both of them, which is telling me that mu minus 0.67449 sigma, this is equal to 4.553 mu plus 0.67449 sigma is equal to 5.126. So if I sum up these two things, 2 mu is the summation and from where I will get my mu. So mu comes out as the summation of these two values divided by 2. So here this method, method of percentiles gives me mu as 4.840. And obviously from here I will get my uh, sigma sigma comes out as mu plus 0.67449 sigma equal to 5.126. So I can very well do it as 5.126 minus whatever is the mu value I divided by the signals, this one. So 0.42 comes out to be my sigma here but I require sigma squared so I will take the sigma squared and this gives me 0.18 so here the, there is a small difference that is uh, coming in the estimates of sigma squared as well as mu depending on what mechanism that we are following right here of course the, the definition of the quantile the, the quartile that i have gone also i have done it with uh, n plus 2 by 4 and 3 n plus 2 by 4th element sometimes people use n plus 1 by 4th element and 3 n plus 3 by 4th element doesn't matter so you can use all of uh, any of those mechanisms but whatever is uh, the formula that is driving using that formula i should be able to estimate the parameters so that using these parameters, I will be uh, driving various uh, other calculations in terms of computing the percentages or probabilities, things like that. Right, so that's how uh, we use uh, different mechanisms to finally uh, uh, arrive at an estimation of the parameters. Alright.